uh, this is going to be take number two on this build. Uh, actually, this build's video. First time I did it, I like really messed up like halfway through. So, good times. So, we're going to try this again. And you won't even know, other than me telling you. So, uh, we've done three Wally's Squadron uh, RC Flyer builds for my buddy Heath. So, um, uh, this year they're having the 30th anniversary in Summersville, and he wanted something to commemorate uh, the event and uh, had me build, I believe it's a watch for him. Uh, it's your dad and your uncle, I believe. I believe that was the, um, from, I get a lot of messages. I'm trying to remember what was said, but I'm pretty sure that's what it was. So we've got three identical builds. We've only adjusted them slightly. Um, where the pip bloom is so we've got a blue one we've got a standard i don't know what color you call that cream-esque uh, and then we've got one that's in a more of a vibrant yellow so let's show you the builds so one of them specifically is going to heath because we had to make it a little bit longer of a strap for his wrist um so this one where all the loom appears to be in a matching color um, that has a longer strap to it. So this one is his. Um, so custom laser etched dial um, around here at the pips. Those are actually lasered completely out. You know, I just hit that with air and then you saw two little specks. It's good times. Um, painted it black, then wet sanded it, and then backside loomed it. So how this looks now. is like that the loom is actually behind it so um silver handset um this one is not a custom painted uh second sand the other two are at the loom bit uh, so the dial is uh is brushed has their rc logo on there the flyers uh, we did this in a brushed case uh, i always mention this but if you ever nick the brushed case Use the green side of a scotch bright, brush it in one direction, and brush that scratch in. You're not removing the scratch, you're making it harder to see. Um, so, uh, to commemorate that, we did the 30th uh, referencing. There's a really good, will that pick up a good lasered? I tell you in person, this, this 30th looks pretty killer. Um, then, uh, since this is in West Virginia, where I live as well, it's about 80 miles away from me. Uh, we've got the West Virginia uh, state lasered in on the crown. Uh, so we did a tall coin bezel on this with a silver Scandi insert. What's nice about this is it looks like what's on the dial is uh, continued out on the bezel. So nice flow to it. Um, large window exhibition case back back here. Um, uh, somebody just messaged me something, and I don't think he meant to send it to me. Maybe he did. Um, I'm on my phone, so messages pop up this whole side right here and kind of block out everything from about here up. <laughs> uh, and my phone's on that side, so it, you know, it's running from bottom to top. But uh, uh, black rotor on here, stainless steel movement holder going on around there. Uh, you've got that protective cover on here, so you get these little air bubbles there. Um, but then this is the nice three-piece BVW Italian leather ammo pouch aviator strap with removable bund. So if the bund is gets too annoying for you, or you're just like, I'm not a bund guy, which you probably need to be a bund guy. I don't know enough bund guys. And once I get one, they're like, ah, man, I think I'm a bund guy. It's kind of cool. Um, really kind of disperses the weight on your wrist a little bit better. And I always think it Makes it, makes it stand up a little bit more. Granted, that's what the exhibition case back holds for, so it won't stand up off your wrist too much more than it would without it. Um, but uh, very thick Italian leather, off-white stitching on this. Um, removable bund, you just slide. This is just the uh, piece uh, that's been stitched in, so you just slide this up and out. Same thing on this side, except you have to take your buckle off, get a brushed uh, buckle that matches your case. Um, you'd have to pop that off and then slide it out. So uh, on yours, I'm giving you an extra. The other, since this was custom made, uh, he just did it my normal way, which is uh, nothing done on it. But the other ones have my partially stamped, or it's actually branded 
uh, logo on it. So I'm going to throw you in one of these. So if you ever um, pop that off or you want that yourself, you can put it on there. But I always kind of show them this way to kind of showcase the stitching. I always think that looks good. Granted, it looks good this way too. I always think that's kind of looks cool as a pop out. So if you do that with this one, you can kind of see, um, you know, we do this to kind of make and you know show that off a little bit better. But when we, we're doing it to show this part off, using a little bit of glue back here, so this doesn't look as good for this look. It looks better for this look, and then vice versa. But I'll throw this in for you. The other guys' uh, watches have with my logo on them. Um, so um, what I was referencing on this bun strap is over time, it's going to get better and better and better fitting in there. But this is tight, and you can get it on there. You just got to work it on with your fingers and kind of put it in there at an angle. And over time, it will hold on there better and better and better. But it will get worked back and forth because this is an automatic mechanical. So from time to time, you're not going to be very active and you're going to want to wind it a little bit. Unless you're putting it on a watch winder, which the bund, eh, it'll still fit with the bund. But let's say um, um, you don't put it on a winder uh, and you're not going to be very active. You're going to want to pre-wind it a little bit. And to get to it, you're going to want to push this out of the way. Because you want to be able to grab around this crown really well. So, automatic mechanical, you can wind it, you can wear it, you can put it in a watch winder. But if it's dead or you're not going to be very active, like you're driving or at a desk, you want to pre-wind it a little bit. Otherwise, it's going to stop because your, your movement is moving this rotor around, right? And this rotor being moved around is what's winding your watch, right? Well, if you're not moving, then you're not winding. So, what you want to do is you want to back the crown off the threads to you hear it and feel it clicking. At that point, you'll even feel a little bit of play there. You can wind it, and a wind is a turn away from you. Wind back does nothing, but to keep your fingers spacing and to hold that off, you can just go back and forth. So if you do this for four or five seconds before you put it on, even if you're not very active, you will keep time, because you are putting a decent amount of wind on it and you're moving around a bit. Uh, if you do it for something closer to 15, 20 seconds, you're going to max out your 31 plus hour power reserve on it. Um, you can't overwind it, so you can do this all day. And uh, I built this watch uh, in the blue one um, two nights ago, and they still kept perfect time through now. So we're closer to 36 hours. Um, so very nice that those, uh, that those kept time that long. Um, if you pull it to the one and only click, you can now set your time. It's not a hacking movement, so it's going to keep going. And also, you're going to notice you've got a wobble crown. That is kind of like a ball joint in there. It's going to deflect lateral pressure from going into the stem. Uh, bending the stem or putting any adverse uh, pressure on your movement. So um, if you uh, if you're pushing and pulling on it, it's kind of rolling with it a little bit. Um, but you can always just pull it straight, and it doesn't do any of that at all, which is kind of how I do it. Plus, with that in the way, I'm just kind of want to make sure I got it gripped really well. Okay, Google, what time is it? Twelve eleven p.m. Twelve eleven p.m. And then you just push it right back over. And thread it down. I say that as I as I can't do it. And then you'll just pull that piece right back up there. And what I've been doing is leaving these in the box with this pulled all the way up, and then you know when it's around the watch, when it's around the uh, uh, pillow, it stays nice and tight against that. So put it up against there because these are this is cut to spec, and with your lugs coming down, that kind of holds it off a little bit. open but special edition boxes now uh, the other two watches are identical the only difference is is we did a blue loom on this one so um, is actual loom not just blue paint a lot of times I'll just paint them 
uh, to get a nice color to them. But that is actually a uh, tinted loom, so that is a nice vibrant blue loom. And you'll pick who this goes to because um, I'm going to stick build cards in there. You know, your, your laser etched matching build cards. I don't want to pick it for you guys, so if you if you think your dad or your, your uncle, I think that's who's getting them, um, you should get swapped. Make sure you swap around the build cards too. Um, otherwise, they're not going to match. And these are standard um, standard length. Uh, yours ones was a little bit uh, longer, but even at standard length, it is still decently large. Um, so, uh, so yeah. Um, I'm sure I showed that on each one. Each has the 30th engraved on the side. Everything is exactly the same except for the uh, the loom in that pit. Same thing with this other one. Did that in a nice yellow. Also an actual loom. Not just a paint. Got your 30th on the side. Your West Virginia logo there. Everything is the same. So uh, as with those guys, they're going to also get their uh, matching beads as well. Entirely up to them whether they wear it or not. Uh, but they go with it and uh, they'll be in there. So that's each one of these watches. And you saw the matching boxes. As I do with every build, they're going to get watch cleaner. So we've got three watch cleaners here. One for each of your guys. Hang yourself. This is good on all glass and metal. So everything right here. It's non-streaking, non-toxic, non-residue. Um, so that's good on those parts. Uh, then we've got some leather conditioner. Also three pieces. Uh, this is good to keep that leather perfectly smooth and soft. Uh, it's going to be soft by itself. Um, this actual leather is... Um, probably won't even really need that stuff. But... If it does, put it on the back side, uh, put it on there, let it soak in. A little bit will go a long way with it. You have a lot of leather conditioner there, even though it's a half an ounce. So um, use it as you need it, maybe every six months. You're probably going to use it uh, on the back side more than anything, because that's where you'd feel if it's not getting soft. Um, but you can put it uh, anywhere you want on there. And then you're also going to have some fine scratch remover. This is Novus 2 from Amazon, just repackaged. Uh, this is basically like poly watch, but way more full. Um, this is an acrylic glass over here, and you can scratch it, but if you do, no big deal at all. Put a tiny bit on it, buff against it, filling that scratch um, with your included microfibers. Now, I didn't have any in a silver. I got to order new. Um, actually, I've been trying to order new for about six months. Um, but um, uh, just ultra fine microfibers, you'll have one around each watch in there. Um, just buff against it, filling that scratch up, going back and forth. And um, if you can really get back and forth and generate some heat with your thumb, you'll knock it out way quicker. But 15, 20 seconds, your acrylic will be back to normal. Uh, it's like a 5 millimeter thick acrylic, so it's very thick, and um, it uh, will take a beating. And then lastly, you have your uh, build and warranty cards for each guy. I know which one Heath gets. Um, but then you've got one for Buck and, uh, Keith. So, um, I might just pick one for you. And if you go, ah, Keith is more of a blue guy than a yellow guy. Then you just swap this around. No, no harm, no foul there. Um, when you're giving them out. So those are the builds, man. I appreciate you, uh, thinking of me and having me build these, uh, for this event. And I'm pretty excited to come and see it myself. So, um, thank you for thinking of me. Thank you for the support. Uh, thank you to all who are watching it. Hopefully some fans out there of, of Wally's Squadron uh, getting to see us too. And just a side note, I did make one extra of those dials. And I did make one extra of those boxes. Now you won't get it with uh, the logo and the 30th on the side. That was very specific for this group. But if you want one of these, I've got one left. And it will only make one more uh, unless... Uh, Heath says it's okay for somebody else, but um, we're going to keep the 30th on there, and we're going to keep uh, the logo specific to them. We can always do your initials on there. We can do something different, um, but uh, that is specific to these three builds. So uh, thank you for watching. Uh, appreciate your time, and if you want me to build you something custom and unique, reach out, and I'll see what I can do. And if you want to continue to see videos like this, like and subscribe as I put them up all the time. Thanks, guys.